give me two lists. One list, your goals. Intermediate, short-term, long-term goals, okay? Both in personal and business. Then you put another list together. You put another list together and you say who you met with from Sunday midnight till Saturday midnight for one week. Who you talked to or who you met with. Okay. And you put the list together. Okay. And let's say there's 50 people on this list. Okay. Am I, it's a short list. Now you put a number by every fucking person that you emailed, Skype fucked, tweet fucked, link fucked. And which one of your goals on this other side of the paper they have anything to do with? You will be staggered, stunned, gobsmacked, awestruck. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You want to know why you're all fucked up? Just look at the fucking bums you hang around with. Do you think Donald Trump's a whiner? Do you think he worries and gives a fuck what you think of him? Do you think Elon Musk gives a fuck what you think of him? Do you think the late Steve Jobs gave a fuck what you thought of him? Do you think Bill Gates gives a fuck? And I go on and on and on. The only one that gives a fuck is you and the fucking morons on YouTube. Practice success before you're successful. Before I had any money, I used to go to the Rolls Royce dealers and sit in the cars and smell the leather, touch the leather. And these days, this is 40 years ago, I went to million dollar houses and my wife and I would walk through the house and they'd say, when are your parents getting here, kids? No, we are the buyers, okay? And to get used to it, and that's the reason the castle is so effective. And the reason I stopped giving outside seminars is that the success rate is almost five times greater going to the castle, having a butler wait on you, dressing, thinking more of yourself, because self-esteem is the key to high performance. Perfection equals paralysis. If you left it to engineers, no car would ever come off the assembly line. They'd still be trying to make it better. And the internet business is very much the same. The internet kids want to test and test and test and they want the, the, the landing page to be this. And roll it out. The great thing about the internet is your, your results are instantaneous. Without them making mistakes and without them being allowed to make the decision, they never get any better. You don't need fucking case studies. You have a, you have a fucking template. You have a motherfucking script that a fucking monkey can read. That Alex wants a fucking case study. Because he wants to know the shit behind it. Because he's stupid. And that's why he's fucking poor. You don't need any motherfucking case studies. How many fucking times do I have to say? You have the fucking script. I said don't change a fucking word on the script. Not a comma. If it's got misspelled fucking words, send it out misspelled. The last thing you fucking need is a fucking case study. This is why you're fucking poor. This is why the cocksuckers watching this on YouTube are so fucking poor.